Hi, boys and girls. How are you? You got me. I was going to start eating my yummy apple. I love to have apples in the morning for a snack. What is your favorite snack? Bananas? Cheese string? Yogurt? Oh my goodness, that's all delicious. Boys and girls, I'm going to leave my apple there, but before, do you know the 3D shape name for this? Sphere. Exactly. And I'm going to leave mm, this yummy sphere here and I'm going to eat it later. Boys and girls, we're going to have two activities today. We're going to have a literacy activity and an arts and craft activity that you are going to share with your family. So boys and girls, for the first activity, you just need colored paper, scissors, and markers. What are we going to do? We're going to do signs and we're going to put them in our window. Yesterday, we did the stained glass window and we're going to put these messages in the other windows beside it to cheer up our neighbors and to say thank you to all those first responders that are helping at this time and the people who are working to put a little smile in their face. Let's begin. What I like to do, I like to write some of my side words or popcorn words that you know in a piece of paper. You can ask a big brother, a big sister, a grandma, a grandpa, or your mom and dad to help you out with this. What you're going to do next, you're going to write a message. Here it says, count each blessing. And then you're going to cut. Remember, boys and girls, when we use scissors, we crawl our fingers and we always cut away from our fingers. And we move away from the scissors. Moving away from the scissors. You see the scissors are not near my finger. And we cut. You can cut very close to the lines or on the lines to help you. So we did this already. We advanced a little bit and we did some signs with my younger daughter. This one say pray for first responders. Thank you to all first responders. Jesus loves you. When you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. And this one said, let your fear, faith be bigger than your fear. And this one, what I would like to do, I'm going to do my bubble speech shape afterwards. That was a long one. And as you see, I did it. And then I can cut. Again, remember, fingers away from the scissors. And I'm cutting on my line this time. I'm moving my paper and my fingers are always away from the scissors. So after you do all your beautiful signs, you're going to put them with tape in your window facing outside. So the people walking, going for walks, they can see your sign and feel happy and cheer up the day. Very simple, right? Next activity, we're going to need a ruler, a marker, scissors, glue, and a little bit of ribbon. And what are we going to do? We're going to make palms. This coming Sunday is Palm Sunday. And as we welcome Jesus into our homes, we can go to church, so we are not going to receive real palms, but we can make our own beautiful palms and put it in our doors. So I may want to show you how to do it. First thing you're going to do, you're going to get a ruler and you're going to go from zero to five and that will be five centimeters. And you're going to mark your paper. Then you're going to put your ruler and you're going to make a line. Very simple. Then you're going to put this part of your paper, this edge on your black line. And you're going to fold the paper. Make sure you fold nice, and this is going to look just like this. And then we cut it. What are we cutting? Just the black line, and fingers away from the scissors. There we go. That's the first part. So what we're going to do with this little piece of paper, we're going to make a little straw. So you're going to grab your paper, and you're going to roll it. This 
need little fingers. My daughter was better than me to do this part. So what I like to do, I like to use the scissor, curl her a little bit. That helps me. And then I'm going to go around and around to make a little strong. So as you do your straw, you see here, I'm rolling it, and I'm gonna stretch it. So from here, oopsie daisy, from here you're gonna stretch your paper. And then you have it. You made a little straw. You can put glue or tape, so I like to put both. So I put just one little drop of glue, not a lot, just to keep it in place, in place. And then I get a little bit of tape. Again, not a lot of tape because that's glue. And I just put it like that. And this I'm gonna save for later. What we have in here is the paper that we fold in half, the other part. And from the inside where it's fold, we are going to put our straw that we made with the paper. A little bit of glue and then tape. You are not gonna see the inside of your palm, so don't worry, you can use any tape. You have painter's tape that you have left from before, or any tape. And this is gonna look just like this. Now, the fan part. With your marker, you're gonna draw a curving line like this. You know, the curving line from this end and a curving line or a smile and cut. So you see here, this is already looking like a leaf. Next, with the marker, you're gonna make your own lines. So I'm gonna show you. You're just gonna make like little smiles. Just like this and we're gonna cut the thing with this you're gonna cut two times on top of your line one and two so you're gonna cut one outside the line and another one outside the line again if you don't have green paper do not worry you can use white paper and paint it with green color even if you have just newspaper, this looks very beautiful with newspaper. And then when you do it, you can paint them green. And they look like real palms, actually, because the texture of the newspaper is much softer than this paper. And look, now you open. And this one in the end, I always like to cut a little bit as well. And I give them a little smile. And then we have, we have two beautiful palms. So boys and girls, what is the last thing I want you to do? You're gonna get a little ribbon. If you have, if not, don't worry. You can have very thin ribbon like when you wrap a gift. And then you're gonna do a little bow. You can ask one of your parents or a sibling to do it, or you can practice just like when you do your shoe laces. And there we have our palms are ready and we're gonna put our palms in our door to share. So everybody have a beautiful Palm Sunday this weekend and we will see you Monday. And don't forget, share some sunshine and good messages with your neighbors. Bye, keep safe and wash your hands.